up y'all welcome back to my channel serendipity today i'm going to be reacting to the most offensive jokes ever i would be lying if i said that i didn't enjoy maybe some offensive jokes or offensive jokes or like just maybe a little dark humor i really enjoy any type of comedy to be honest with you the ones you know maybe the childish you know just the stupid ones or maybe the ones that you kind of have to think about a little bit or uh, or just the offensive dark ones like those i'm just i like them all to be honest with you um i like comedy the one thing i've noticed about like the uk compared to america with comedy is like we do have those uh comedians that just you know maybe take it to the next level maybe teeter the lawn of like maybe taking it too far but um they don't put those comedians on like mainstream television but yeah usually they don't really which i feel like it's kind of sort of starting to get there because of how like kind of network television is kind of not getting the best numbers as like streaming services so I feel like it is getting a little better about adding some uh, controversial comedians on their platform. But I feel like at one point it was like no controversial. Well, I feel like at one point it was like a lot of controversial comedians like in the 90s and stuff, which was all just just a bunch of different controversial comedians and then it kind of just went away where um networks wasn't or networks seemed like they wasn't wanting just to have that controversy of um having a, a like offensive comedian on their network but i feel like now as time is going on i feel like they're kind of starting to add it back but anyway back to my comparison uh i feel like it's always been like that for the uk kind of just always like all comedians are kind of like in the media i enjoy like any type of network or anything that just like lets everybody you know do what they do and not have to be censored so much but anyway um let's let's get into this video The answer is three billion. What is the question? Is it what is the excess on Richard Hammond's car insurance? He's <laughs> <laughs> walking around. <laughs> it's what he would have wanted. <laughs> uh, sorry, I know that's probably not funny for any mildly autistic people in the audience. <laughs> um, then again, nothing is. Object <laughs> is ill-advised things to say in court. The case for the prosecution is based on one compelling piece of evidence. The defendant is black. <laughs> Describes the Dostoevsky metro station with its depressing murals as the mecca for suicides. Not to be confused with the mecca for suicide bombers, which is mecca. <laughs> According to the Times... sit around watching people open empty boxes all day, I'd spend Christmas morning at Kerry Katona's house. <laughs> Unlikely lines to read in the Bible. The characters in this book are entirely fictitious. <laughs> you know why so many American kids die in high school massacres? Oh, gosh. It's because they're not allowed to run in the corridors. <laughs> Take your time with that, that's wrong on a number of levels. <laughs> now, if there's any Muslim fundamentalists in the room, right? You see this microphone? I'm calling it Muhammad, right? And it's fucking gay. It's a gay microphone called Muhammad, and all it wants to do is roll the Quran up and fuck itself up the ass. I don't know if I get that one. Now, yeah. for me, the luckiest guy in the world. Jack Tweed, Jade Goody's old boyfriend. <laughs> I haven't fucking done it yet. Because <laughs> he presumably made some money out of selling his story. Got plenty of sympathy sex, apparently consensual. <laughs> Doesn't have to bring up the kids, they're somebody else's kids. And because she died from cervical cancer during the three weeks that they were married, she got thinner and better looking and her pussy got tighter. <laughs> Right. 
Before the cancer, she'll have had a fanny like a canoe. <laughs> You'd have known whether to finger her or get in and row her. <laughs> a lot of guys on dates going, this isn't funny. <laughs> I'd like to be in that wedding ceremony. Till death do you part? Friday? Yeah, sure. <laughs> everyone. Hello, Nana. Hello, Grandad. Hello, Uncle who used to touch me. <laughs> How did you get up here? <laughs> oh, that's right. You used to work for the church. Oh, my God. <laughs> that's good. They had around one time things you would say that would change the atmosphere at a dinner party. And I said, if we're all here, who's looking after Madeline? I don't think I get that one either. I don't know if, I think, I may need more contacts. Oh, I yeah. personally think global warming is a myth, like World War II and women's rights. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. Here's my opinion, for what it's worth. I think you know a girl is too... Jimmy Carr is one of the comedians that I know that is constantly, like, just the the, the person that kind of always say, like, I offensive. I always quote it because it's usually not the most offensive thing ever, but they get categori categorized as offensive. ...for you if you're having to make the aeroplane noise to get your cock in her mouth. <laughs> Here comes the train into the tunnel. Famous last word. Stingrays love foreplay. <laughs> I'll bet you I can jump that ticket barrier. <laughs> People say dolphins are really intelligent. I think, yeah, but only compared to the retarded kids we got them swimming with. <laughs> On the subject, seen the guy like front row, like kind of cringe. Of abortions, a lot of people support a woman's right to choose, but I think if I'm paying for it, <laughs> I'm joking. I never pay. <laughs> Doesn't cost anything to fall down the stairs, does it? <laughs> Some of these girls, I swear, they think I'm made of coat hangers. <laughs> They say there's safety in numbers. Yeah? Tell that to six million Jews. <laughs> really, London? Really? A round of applause? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Whatever it is, it's heading straight for the World Trade Center. <laughs> What's that, Joker? You'll be back. Somehow, I don't think you will be. <laughs> 99% of women kiss with their eyes closed, which is why it's so difficult to identify a rapist. <laughs> Let's have a little time out there and discuss the rules of the gig. Mm. Skating outfit. I, I've got this image of all these record producers coming up to her and going, <laughs> so Kylie, we're doing this new rave thing and it's like this 80s synthesizer and her just going, oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> all right. And you've got to wear like this uh, futuristic <laughs> roller skating outfit. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, that sounds, <laughs> that sounds fine. How much am I getting paid for this? Oh, 10 million dollars, 10. Oh, I'll put that in my savings account. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish I had a baby. You know, that's a, oh. Oh. <laughs> Apparently Jordan and Peter Andre are fighting each other over custody of Harvey. Although eventually one of them will lose and have to keep him. <laughs> I have a theory that Jordan married a cage fighter because she needed someone strong enough to stop Harvey from fucking her.
It's my last tour and I don't give a fuck anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's the best way to go out. <laughs> Oh, that was so funny. Oh, there was there was a few. I'm not gonna lie. There was a few good ones in there. Um, I don't really see where they were offensive, but I'm always like, if you're trying to offend me, it's going it's going to take a lot. I don't see where it was offensive, but there were really some dark jokes. I would I would say they're dark more than offensive. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and like always, there's more to come, and I'll see you in the next one.